hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i have a special guest my husband nino so today we wanted to make a quick video for you guys on how to make money selling your items online and he um introduced me to this a couple months ago and we've kind of been going really hard like just selling items and making extra money uh, kind of using it as a little bit of like extra income uh, so now I sell on Facebook marketplace I do have a Poshmark account and an offer up account but he does most of like the eBay Amazon pretty soon first of all you want to know what you're selling and how much you're selling it for so what are some ways that we can go ahead and find an item and price it in a way where we can get potential customers. Basically, um, <clears throat> what I do is I like to source through uh, sold and completed items on eBay. Uh, and I kind of price my stuff off of that on all the platforms. Like if it's on Facebook or uh, OfferUp, I'll go I just look at like how long ago did they sell. I mean, if it's a, if it's a couple months ago, then I probably won't go for it because it will be much more harder to sell. But I mean, it'll take more time to sell. But I like to go for things that's been like within like two weeks, you know, sold, and then I'll try to just compete with those prices, and uh, I'll most likely get a sale on that. You tend to kind of hold value to those items, but what you really want to do is you want to go through the listings of any similar items, see like if there's any wear and tear on your shoes or your shirts or your jeans and if there is kind of be reasonable with that um, you also want to be very detailed when it comes to listing an item you don't want to oversee that and then have a buyer come back and reject your item or like ship it back to you and then it's just more of a hassle that way right yeah you gotta um, basically explain to them what is going on with your item like you have to inspect it, you know, for sure. I mean, if it's dirty, you, you clean it. If it has stains, try your best to get it out. If not, then you can sell as is. It's more about just being, like, really honest. Yeah. Because um, these people are, you know, they're buying online and they're not, you know, they're not going into a store and trying it on or just, like, looking at the flaws. And... So what we like to do is we like to go to Goodwills, yeah. uh, Salvation Army, garage sales even though it's kind of not the weather for that right now but sometimes if you look on craigslist on facebook they do post garage sales or estate sales yeah. we have yet to go to any auctions we haven't kind of took that step yet but we do plan on going yeah. to that pretty soon basically um try to sell like action figures uh, plush dolls um hats I like to um, go through like uh, <clears throat> snapbacks, like NFL or uh, NBA snapbacks, just sports memorabilia stuff. Yeah, but when purchasing sure. items like that, like he said, you want to be very detailed and you want to make sure that the person knows what they're buying. You know, you don't want to say that it's like a brand new shirt when it has like some wear and tears here and there and mm -hmm. then you know they leave a bad review and it's on yeah. your profile and then yeah. other buyers will see that and they won't want to buy anything from you like he mentioned when we do purchase items from goodwill or anything like that you do want to check the last sold items so anything from two to four weeks right we always check to make sure that that is something that people are wanting to buy and that they're looking for in the summertime you're not going to go buy like hoodies and then try to sell hoodies online when people here like in California are not purchasing things like that because the weather is a little bit more nicer. How to get people interested in your items? Well basically with pictures um, I like to uh, have or take at least four to six pictures. Uh, I just have a feeling like that's going to be a, a good set of uh, photos for them to like inspect your item and um, make sure you're taking pictures of the flaws don't be you know hesitant to do that because your item will get returned or you will get bad feedback for that but um, also you want to have you know good lighting 
I don't think you need a camera necessarily, but you're, even if you have like an iPhone, you know, like iPhone. We just do it online. Yeah, we just do it on iPhone. It's much quicker. You can upload much quicker, and yeah, yeah I don't think we do anything on our on our uh, on our Canon. Yeah. yeah. Just record videos. Yeah. You do want to start out with something like this, and it just gives it like a clean white background. It makes your product really stand out. Um, because there is no like background distractions or anything like that and all the focus is on your product this is something that we did purchase and we have been taking all of our photos with it um, whether it's like shoes shirts uh, little plush animal toys yeah, plush dolls and, uh, uh, cars <clears throat> little um, even like action figures, action and, figures uh, yeah. you know. another thing that I do recommend you don't really need this um, I kind of just purchased it because I wanted to start doing bundles so I sell a lot of women's clothes on Facebook marketplace most of my sales come through Facebook marketplace so as you guys can see right here in the background I have my little mannequin that helped me boost up my sales when I started doing bundles and like little outfits and things like that um, but one thing you do want to keep in mind is if you're someone like me who wears anything from like a medium to like an extra large you want to keep everything the same size especially if that person is you know looking for like a complete outfit and another thing I wash my own clothes before I post it online um, a lot of the t a lot of the clothes that I sell is mine that I've worn so I don't want to give them clothes that smells like me or has like my hair on it uh, so I just throw it in the wash before and I take a picture and then I just upload it and that way when they receive their item it's not like bad smelling they're like nice smelling mm. and nice. I noticed that you know a lot of people that do buy things for me they always come back and they always give me good feedback okay so for shipping um, on eBay what I usually do is um, I try to find free boxes <laughs> and uh, basically have have just enough room for my item to not be smushed. I use my bubble wrap. It's right here. You can buy it at any um, Office Depot or any, uh, supply store like that. I put newspaper around my item on top and I just make sure it's uh, secure with uh, lots, lots of tape. All around the um, the box. I just really like to secure my item and make sure my you know my customers are really satisfied with their purchase and um, I just like you know great feedback from. And you get really good feedback, like yeah. from people. Mm -hmm. Like all of his feedback on his eBay store is mostly like how awesome packaging That's is, good. like how secure <laughs> and like how like nice the product came to their house. Or I guess it's just up to like the seller if they want to go ahead and take that extra step something that you put in effort and you know people actually like take notice on that like they're yeah. like wow like this person like really went that extra step to make sure my item wasn't like damaged damaged or, going you, around you never in the know, box but, you know you never know as soon as that gets sent out to the uh, post office or wherever you mail it out to um you, you never know what how they handle things. I know they have a tendency of just throwing stuff. Or uh, for me, since I mostly do tend to sell to people around my area, uh, just keep in mind that whether you're meeting somebody in person, you never want to tell people exactly where you live. Um, I don't give them my exact address. I kind of just give them like a couple houses down and then I meet them outside like in the little main street. Um, and you know, I did have like this customer who got really angry at me and he was like why don't you tell me where you live like I'll just come to your house and I'll knock on your door but you know like sometimes I'm home alone and nobody is here to come with me like as my second person um, so I kind of did learn my lesson on that on uh, waiting for Nino to come home or like having his mom or like his grandma be here and then I make a sale so um, I really did learn my lesson on that. It's really scary, especially when you're a girl, you know, and like yeah. there's all these creepy men that are trying to like, I don't know. You just, you never know. Yeah. You always want to be safe and you never want to um, give them your exact address. Or you can always meet them like at a Starbucks or like at yeah, any public, Smart Final, public, Banks. Public place, uh, 
Yeah. yeah. We so. were meeting people at uh, In and Out for the longest. So oh, yeah. That worked out pretty good. I mean, there's people in and out, people eating outside. Yeah. And, um,. Uh, where we used to live, there was an in and out like right down the street. Yeah. So we would always give them that address. Yeah, and then, just drive there. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So that pretty much completes this video here. I know it's a little like kind of all over the place, um, but it is something that we're barely getting comfortable in like talking to people about. Not tend to judge you, not that we really care, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's just more like, they don't understand the hustle and they don't understand like the work that goes into this. Yeah. A lot of people are successful in this and yeah. it's something that we are putting a lot of our time and a lot of our money into. So we wanna build it as a business together and you know, just live a lifestyle that nobody else wants to live. People say it's a hobby, but I mean, that's, that's what, it's you know, more that's, than a hobby that's that. what life is, like if you enjoy it, you know, and um, you, know, you try to make that your full time, you know, and, um, just keep pushing and believe in yourself and you'll go after it. So yeah, this pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll go ahead and leave you guys some links down below of all the items that we have purchased on our own. And that way you guys can go ahead and kind of get a little head start on reselling online. If you have any questions or if you have any uh, nice comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And my husband is actually a fisherman. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and link his YouTube account down below. It's a Bay Area Anglers or I'll just put it up here somewhere. Bay Area Anglers, I'm in some of his videos too. I also go fishing. Yeah, if you guys can check out my channel, if you guys are interested in you know fishing or check out the link, like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys in our in my next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>